The historic Pennypack Mill in Hatboro was preparing to host a party last night when a car barreled into the main building and burst into flames. Witnesses say a teenager was learning how to drive with his mother. Luckily, no one was seriously hurt. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands has more. Scary moments for a passerby as she captured video of a car engulfed in flames after crashing into the Pennypack Mill, known as the oldest building in Hatboro. A mother and her young son came around the corner and somehow lost control. I screamed, what's going on? And the lady's like, I'm sorry, it's my car, you know. Um, and at that moment, the car like shot up in flames. The woman and her son escaped in time as fire crews rushed to quickly douse the flames. Luckily, the firefighters, I mean, it's amazing from the flames that really the only thing that was damaged was a bathroom downstairs and, and part of the attic upstairs. The historic Penny Pack Mill, formerly the Old Mill Inn, dates back nearly 300 years. Uh, <laughs> It's had some tough times. <laughs> Linda Clouser bought the building in 2013. She converted the longtime restaurant to an event space in September. She lives nearby and arrived to see the flames. Uh, it's just the building's been through a lot, floods, everything. And, uh, you know, it's just a great building. It's amazing. At the time of the crash, events coordinator Claudabel Rodriguez and others were at the building setting up for a 50th birthday party, which is now being moved to a relative's home. Nobody got hurt. That's all you care about. I thought it was going to be worse, but, you know, thank God that, you know, we didn't have, it doesn't look like we have a lot of damage. So, you know, I'm just really grateful that God just, you know, helped back the fire. And that event coordinator has another catering site in Chestnut Hill. She has rescheduled all immediate future events there. As for the owner, she was told by the fire marshal that the fire didn't get to the main building, only the additional part that's under the blue tarp. She's hoping to reschedule all events within the week. In Hatboro, in Montgomery County, Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.